Hi, it is February 29th, 2020. You gotta be wondering why I'm hanging out here in the matrix. I've got uh, these hexadecimal bytes headed down my screen as kind of a backdrop to what I'm doing. So it is Saturday and uh, I don't have my PlayStation because it broke. So instead of playing the PlayStation, I am repairing the PlayStation. You can't see it, but here on my desk, I've got the PlayStation hard drive out and it is uh, in an apparatus that lets me plug in with the USB. It's not ideal to be using it with USB instead of like serial ATA for those that know, but um, that I, you know, was a quick hack for just playing today. So I was trying to zero out the drive, thinking that that was maybe my last ditch effort before I um, gave up on this. Uh, I, I there it goes the, you see the zeros that I'm seeking for where those zeros are. Anyway. Um, I, I was tried a whole bunch of things and I, I heard rumors that it doesn't matter if you change the drive. And so rather than spending the money on the drive, really first off, I'm going to just check the health of the drive and zero it out. And I started it going last night, but I didn't let it get, I let it get about 75% through and then stopped it thinking I was going to be more efficient by stopping it and, and using more bytes per write. And it was less efficient because I've spent most of the morning since five o'clock this morning till now it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, they should probably be done by now, but I, I spent that time learning about XS, XXD and DD, which are two Linux command lines that lets you um, uh, manipulate uh, hex and uh, drives. Um, I can I can write to a device file. And I've got in my uh, my my device is called uh, SDB. That's the uh, the name of the device on Linux. And um, I'll show you what's going on here. So it's a one terabyte drive. And so if you, you just to get an idea of the scale there. So so if you've got 1,000 bytes, then you're talking about a kilobyte. One million bytes is a megabyte. 1 billion bytes is a gigabyte and 1 uh, 1 trillion i guess that is 1000 billion bytes is a terabyte okay so uh it takes a long time right and i was i was doing it one byte at a time and i figured it would be faster to change it, but in the meantime, I got this demo going so I could show Larkin what I was up to. So my eight-year-old uh, son Larkin is interested in computers a little bit, and I do whatever I can to get him more interested in computers. So here's the setup. I'm gonna take this command, and I'm going to take the drive that you were just looking at, and I'm going to add uh, 4,096 plus some bytes so that I can see before and after. I'm gonna make sure that, that it's all zeroed out so I can show you. And um, I'm gonna put some, and I'll we'll show you that here. That's all zeroed out, except for just the very end there. Uh, maybe I can go and add to that. I'll make sure that there it's all zeroed out. Okay. So it's all zeroed out, and then I'm going to go and change my nose while I'm doing that. I'm going to go and put randomization in the middle. So I take 4,096, so that's um, minus 16 at the top and 16 at the bottom. And I'm going to, or approximately, right? So I'm going to show you that I, I have some zero bytes and then I have a bunch of garbage. This is the same section of the hard drive. And then there at the bottom, okay? So this is showing you 16 bytes. We got one, two, three, four, each pair, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And each of these pairs of bytes means something to the computer or the program you're writing. This is just random garbage literally random that, that I, I put on there. And so then what I showed Larkin that I could do is I've got the, all these hexadecimal characters and you see I've got a 48, a 69, and these are all slash X, which means hexadecimal. And at the end there, you'll it's notable that it says 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. That's the, to kind of show you. Um, if I do that, 
that creates a file that says hi Larkin with a new line and an A, B, C, D, E. And so these are hexadecimal characters. So the zero A character here, that's a new line, that's a, that's a hexadecimal 10. You can go uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I want to get to 10, I can't use the one because I've got to, I've got to get all the way up to 16 first before I carry the one. So that's an A, that's a hexadecimal 10, okay? And then the same for all these, this is um, four times 16 plus eight times one, six times 16 plus nine times one, just like you would do in decimal, but to the powers of 16, or to yeah, times 16 for hex. And then um, when I write that to the file, okay, I've got 16 bytes that went in. And if I go and I show you that part on the drive again, there we go, it says hi Larkin there. And so that's kind of neat. Um, I had made it all the way up to 775 billion bytes, but I didn't, I didn't finish. And so what I wanted to do um, is, is right the rest of them. So I had to go look for where on the drive that it was it was still dirty and found out that you can you can kind of manipulate where you're looking on the drive. So I can go and I can say, well, uh, start at this location. It didn't it doesn't give me it gives me eight of these characters when I'm looking here one you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm guessing that's because the tool's old enough that it didn't expect there to be drives that big. Um, so I had to go do some guessing and had to say, well is it in the B3 location? Is it in the B5 location? Is it in the B4 location? And oh, there it is, right? Um, and then just to show you, so when I put a 10 in here, right, that's that's uh, 10 times 16 plus uh, zero times one. So that's 16 bytes that I wanted to show me. So if I wanna show a little bit before and after, I'm gonna change that to 10 before and 10 after, but then I have to go move this number that it used to be 8E000, right? So I, I don't know if you're still with me, but I like teaching these things because it helps me learn. And also I think people think that's interesting and I try to make it simple enough to understand. But just like you were in elementary school doing your math, if you want to uh, subtract and you, you, you need uh, a number, you have, to, you have to borrow from the other side, right? You have to, you have to, uh, borrow a 10 to subtract, you know, carry the one kind of idea. Uh, so if you look at this, if I have 8D FF0 and I try to add three to that, if I add three times 16 to that, sorry, I said that wrong. If I'm just adding, see, this is this is to help me too. So all I'm all I'm wanting to do is do some math. So let's do some hexadecimal math and we'll cheat. Okay. So this is me showing, I think the difference is just a hexadecimal 10. So if I if I do this hexadecimal calculator and I say I want to take this B4 A B E E triple zero and I want to subtract this number right here. Okay, so that's a hexadecimal 10. So if I'm if I'm if I want to add that 10, so I've got this zero goes to that zero. F plus one is zero. Carry the one. F plus one is zero. Carry the one, and that gets us to 8e. So like I was trying to say earlier, if you if you need to go subtract and you have all these zeros and you have to move backwards and I have to borrow from my E, and that becomes a D, and then the rest of these become an F, and I only need to go this far, and so it's, it'd be, so 8E000 becomes 8DFF0. So what I've done is it will, it was gonna show me 10 before, which is, you know, 10 hex is 16. It's gonna show me 16 bytes before, and then I'm gonna give me 16 bytes after, because it's gonna, it's gonna start 10 before, and then it's going to go 10, 20, 30. So let's show you that. Thanks for sticking with me. There we go. So there's the there's the zeros that I had before, and there's the 
the binary the, the binary randomness that I have afterwards. And then if I want to see the whole chunk, what I did earlier that I missed explaining is I did this in um, in a, a chunk of 4,096, and I, I should have. Um, you can you can also do that by by increasing your byte size and saying, hey, I want this to be 4,096, and I just want to do one. Um, and then when you do that, you have to say, um, I'll take that uh, 4,096, and you know I'll take this big old number and divide it by 4,096, and I come up with this number. Okay, so let's show you that real quick. So, so first of all, here's all the randomness, right? And then if I want to sub subtract this, I'm going to put some zeros in there. We're going to, I'm going to grab this one and then change it just a little bit. Oops. So I put random back on there still. So let's show you that and then we'll come back. Okay, so that's so the, the Larkin word is all gone. Um, but then I, if I want to just clear out just that that white space in the middle, I'm going to say, give me the zeros, and I want to change that so the byte size is 4096, and I just want the one of them, and. I'm going to, instead of going that many bytes, since I'm dividing by 4,096, I want to go that many clusters. That's this one. Yeah. And that throws it in there. Now, if I go look at it, look at that again, it's all zeroed out. Now, if I want to just kind of demonstrate that that, that is what I did. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the zeros that we wrote before, before and after. We're going to have that be random. So we're going to go just a little bit before with this 896 location. And instead of zeros, we're going to, we're going to do the you, you random stuff. All right. Okay. And then we'll show you that. It's all that garbage there. Zeros before, zeros after. And then if I want to go do this again and zero out the middle, just just the one, right? Okay, well, I must have started just a little too late on there. So there's a little bit of random there, a little bit of random there. Yeah, that's why I did that on purpose. So you can see that I just wrote a chunk of zeros in the middle because I did uh, four kilobytes of zeros. Now, if I want to, and this is the pull point, and I'm going to let this go for the rest of the day, I'm going to start the cluster just before that. And I'm going to just start writing, make sure it's the right drive so I don't wipe out my other hard drive. And we're going to let it we're gonna we're gonna do two of them so I can show you that hey well that's all that's all clean now see the whole thing is not clean up to that point we're gonna do three now up to that point and then I don't know I've seen this happen before it was kind of weird um, there, there's some USB caching that happens sometimes so I'm not sure if that's gonna be all clean yep there it is all clean and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this count off of there. And I'm just going to let that run for the rest of the day. And hopefully, the next time you hear from me, my PlayStation will work again. Thank you. Hope that was enjoyable to somebody. Bye.